look to follow roadside memorial guidelines that have been updated fairly recently. News Channel 10's Mary Coleman joins us now live in the studio to tell us what these new guidelines are. Roadside memorials are often used as a tribute to lost loved ones, but some changes leave family confused about what is and is not allowed. Sam Smith lost his wife in a car accident last year. He is one of many who have created a roadside memorial to honor his loved one. Texas Department of Transportation's Paul Braun tells us there are guidelines with what type of material is used, how big it is, and how a memorial looks. If we do see a memorial that isn't meeting those regulations, we have to do something about it, and chances are we'll have to go and we'll take it down, but not before we try every effort that we can to try to contact the family. Braun says the department sympathizes with those who have lost loved ones in accidents. However, they have to consider the safety of all drivers. For a complete list of guidelines, you can visit our website, newschannel10.com. Reporting live from the studio, Mary Coleman, News Channel 10.